Hey there, y'all. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Bessie Nicole, and today I have another review for y'all for a black-owned business. Today we're gonna talk about the Lip Bar's new skin tint that they just dropped. It's called Just a Tint. I actually picked one shade up from Walmart and one shade up from Target. Oh, cause I really didn't know which shade I wore. So I have Mahogany Mommy and I have Chocolate Chip. Now these do retail for $16 and you get one fluid ounce. It has SPF 11, natural finish, natural radiant finish. The oil-free formula provides a natural radiant and sheer buildable coverage. So I wanted to try this out. Um, I know Fenty just dropped a little skin uh, situation as well but i don't think i have a match in that one so i figured you know i could get my hands on the one from the lip bar and i am gonna i do already have my face prom with their primer and i have a review on this so i'll link that as well i'm gonna do one shade on one side of my face and another shade on the other side just because i don't know which shade is gonna match so this is the shade chocolate chip Mm. Blends in. Ooh, yeah. Disappeared on my hand, so we'll see. Let's do this on the right side. Move my mirror. Oh, this a little look a little light. Hold up, player. Let's see. I don't know. She might. She might be all right. Let me see what else it says on here. It says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply every two hours. Use a water resistant sunscreen if you're swimming. So let me see. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And I do have some dark spots so we can see, you know what I'm saying, if she gonna cover them. This is like, this shade is bomb though. I gotta give it to her. This shade is it's a nice shade. I'm literally trying to like split my face down the middle so we can see how this really, how the two shades differ. So this is gonna be just like a little first impressions, you know what I'm saying, real quick. I have to say that looks great. Definitely looks great. I like it. Let me know what y'all think before I put the other one on. Before I put on, and now I feel like I don't even need to put on Mahogany Mommy because this shade is like, it's like my skin, like you can barely tell I have anything on. And the only reason why you can tell is because I have like a natural highlight, like up under my eyes, it's naturally lighter than the rest of my face. But this is definitely a go. Like I could definitely just throw this on with some of their concealer. I really love that too, because it is self setting. And I do have a review on that. I'll link that for you as well. Um, so this is chocolate, no, this is Mahogany Mommy. This is Mahogany Mommy, and I'm gonna use my fingers just to throw it on the other, other side of my face. So that's how that one looks. I just wanna swatch it on my hand just to see. Mm, I don't know, this one might be a little light, we'll see. This one is a tad light. But I could use either one of them, really. I know it says it's buildable, buildable coverage. I think he said medium to buildable. Sun protector, complexion perfecter, skin moisturizer, the perfect marriage of skincare and a flawless complexion. Three in one tinted skin conditioner keeps your skin healthy, glowing rose water, cucumber extract, iris, sea moss extract, hyaluronic acid, 
For serious moisture, SPF 11 to protect against sunburn. So oil-free for oil -free formula provides a natural, radiant, and sheer buildable coverage. Okay, sheer buildable. Definitely buildable because I can't see those dark marks that were on the side of my face. This is crazy. Hold up. Okay, so are the undertones different with these two shades? I don't know. Let me put it on my forehead. This is Chocolate Mommy. Ma no, Mahogany Mommy. I'm getting the names all together, mixed up together. Okay. This looks a little bit more, I don't know if there's pinkish undertones or what, but I think I'm gonna go with chocolate chip on this one. I think, I think she gonna hold me down. Because the chocolate chip, like you can barely tell I have anything on at all on the right side of my face. Let me see. And I'm just putting this all over my face. I just want to see how this is going to hold up. I don't know. It's hard to tell. That's weird. I really don't know. I, I think I like this side. Let me see. You know you got to make sure it blend in with your neck. You know, so you ain't out here looking like a, a clown in these streets. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I like them both. Y'all let me know in the comments below which which shade. This side is Mahogany Mommy. This is Chocolate Chip. Now, in foundation, I would say my perfect shade is like Fenty 450, Minted D12, Mahogany. I think Becca Mahogany. Those are my shades throughout the year, like give, and, give or take, you know, in that range, you know, if you're using me as a, a shade reference. So, yeah, I don't know, I can't really, I wanna say this shade may be a bit lighter. Yeah, this is lighter. The Mahogany Mommy is a little bit lighter, but the chocolate chip, I think that's it. I think the coverage is nice though. I do see some of my dark marks just peeking through still, but you know, it is buildable. So let me see if we can build this up. But I just wanted to check this out real quick because I am going out of town and I ain't trying to be putting on, throwing on a whole face of makeup. And I'm glad this does have um, SPF, but it's only 11. So, you know, folks with more melanin should have at least, I believe it's a, at least a 30, SPF of 30. What y'all think? It is definitely buildable. But when I'm looking at my monitor, it does look a little bit, I think the undertone of this one is different than chocolate chip. Cause chocolate chip, I don't know, that one is it's just flawless. This is flawless. But let me see if I can, because I do have a pimple that I just popped a couple days ago, still kind of peeking through. So I just want to see as far as the color, can I kind of conceal it? So for me, I'm definitely going with the chocolate chip. That's just me, you know, and, and it's just fitting. You know what I'm saying? Because chocolate is always the way to go. <laughs> but seriously, y'all, um, you can see, especially here on my forehead, you can definitely tell that this side is way lighter. And this over here is Mahogany Mommy. And I kind of thought just looking at the shades in the store, this would be more my match, but definitely chocolate chip um, is definitely like my perfect match. Mm, it may just be a little bit light because I'm um, no, it, what it is is the back of my neck is a bit darker. But here, I think that's a, it's a great shade. Like it's a great match. I like it. 
yeah, this would be perfect. And I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could bronze it up, throw some blush on, whatever, you know, a little bit of mascara and just be on my way. So yeah, I definitely just wanted to, I really wanted to try it out for myself because, you know, I am looking for just a little skin tint, but you know, I got y'all too. You know, if you're using me as a shade reference or you just wanted to, wanted to see how it looked on dark skin, I got you, sis. I got you. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to try. I know she does have like um, some little body shimmer type situations. And I actually sent them at Walmart. But the shade that would probably look best on darker skin was out. So I might try to see if I can find those for y'all too or whatever. But yeah, these are the two shades that I tried from the lip bar. And I'm definitely sticking with chocolate chip. And uh, it looks good. It looks, it looks really good. So let me know your thoughts below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. I'm sitting here and I just noticed that, I don't know, it's kind of a little tacky, but I'm thinking it's because, I'm thinking it's because of the primer. Like the primer is, um, it's really mattifying. And it really locks in your makeup, but it is it's like kind of sticky to the touch. So I think I want to try this again, maybe with a different, um, a different primer, maybe. I don't know. I just wanted to smell this to see if it had any kind of smell. I kind of, I guess it has like a makeup kind of smell, but. And it retails for $16.99, not just $16. But yeah, I just wanted to come over here and, and tell y'all that it is a, a little, like, kind of tacky to the touch. So, yeah, just be aware of that.